Speak! You know I don't like using these things. They're listening. Then make it quick. That business thing's been set up. The Chinese guy, Mr. Chang, is at the inn. You said that on the phone? What the fuck is wrong with you, damn it, Ron? Now I'm gonna have to discipline you and you know how I feel about that. There you are, handsome. Hello, Mud. How have you been? Oh, simply wonderful. And you? About the same. Somewhere stuck between joyful and peachy. Even in this world full of scum and detritus, it's only right that we all bear our share. Ain't that the truth? <laughs> Take this poor wretch. On the run, desperate, alone, about to learn the true meaning of suffering, all for a few thousand bucks. Think you can find him for me? Every man has his talents, Maud, and the rigorous administration of justice is, uh, it's one of mine. That's why I love you, Trevor. I'll send you his file. What's going on, Ron? They were here for you. Here for you. Who was here? Them bikers. After you killed Johnny K. And they damage my stuff, huh? They smash up my home, damage my soul. Look at this. This. This, 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 this statue here of impotent rage. This fucking meant more to me than Johnny K meant to anyone, and they smashed it. Those pathetic midlife crisis, hog-riding, shaven-headed, fruity-leather, chapped-wearing fucking assholes. They're assholes, Trevor. They are. They're chapped-wearing assholes. Oh, wait, 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 you little shit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, Michael fucking Townley, right? Bitch wife, two kids, 45, find them. Los Santos is a big, big place, Trevor. There's lots of people. You are fucking useless. Huh? Find out who did that fucking robbery, all right? And if Michael Townley lives there, or anyone matching his description, I'm gonna kill you and your fucking cousin. Am I being clear now? Yes, Trevor. Thank you, Wayne. Now smile. 
Yeah. Uh -huh. Right? That's better. Run along. <laughs> now, Ron. Shall we go? I cannot believe that they fucking destroyed my statue of impotent rage. The cheek! Huh? The fucking cheek of it. I gotta make a stop at ammunition. You're meeting me at the Lost MC's airfield. in your ear when I get a hold of you. Oh, what are you buying at the gun shop? I'm not buying anything. I need a sniper rifle with a high power scope. They say they support local business. Well, we're about to find out if that's true. Melvin, how you feel about brand synergy, huh? TP Industries, ammunition. Good, because you're about to make a corporate gift of a rifle, a high-powered scope, and a suppressor. Uh, take whatever you want, Trevor. I can't afford another fire. That's the rifle I need. She'll do nicely. You got a scope and a suppressor for this? There's the necessary magnification. Now, stop selling weapons to that half-wit Cletus. I ain't sure it's healthy to spend every waking hour surrounded by guns. Have fun. Run! Run, I got the gun. Meet me at the water tower just north of the airfield. Roger that, Trevor. But you gotta look out, because there's bikers all over this airstrip. Of course there are! Two planes are touching down at the field on a weapons run. We're gonna wait till the right time and appropriate them. We are? Yes, we are. I'm waiting at the water tower, boss. I'm up here. I don't see the hardware, but I do see a hell of a lot of bikers. I'm up the tower, Trevor. I'd be all the way up there if it wasn't for my knee. We gotta wait till you can slip in there unnoticed. Should give you the time to plan a route to the gas tank you're rigging up to blow. The time is right. Go on, my son. Whenever you get a doubt in your mind, I want you to remember that I'm watching you through the scope of a high-powered rifle. Right, Trevor. Right, right. Got it. Now, re relax. The ATV can only take you so far. Park it and don't let them spot you. Can you see me, Trevor? Here, by the road. Can you see me?
You wouldn't believe this, Ron. One of these assholes is having a seizure or something. That's me! That's me! Don't shoot! Well, get a move on! I'm moving! Just keep me covered, okay? Walking like you shot yourself. Move. Shit! I hear an engine. They're gonna see that guy you shot. Quick, shoot out the lights on the tower above him. It's coming! Quick! Quick! There's one. And there's the other. You got him! Now don't shoot the guy in the van until he stops and gets out. Oh, fire. We gotta see what he's up to. I think he's just calling the dead guy. You can erase him now. He's out of the van now. Do him! If the man wants to pay his respects, I ain't one to cut that short. Don't jump! You should have seen the look on his face! Wait! A guy came out of the control tower! Get him quick! You gonna take him? So long, sailor! Oh no! Bottom of the tower! Another guy's on his way! He's down there! Amongst the bodies! Clean shot, Trev! Another guy's coming out of the tower! Must be looking for the one you shot! He found him! Take him out, or he'll trip the alarm! This ain't a joke! He's gotta go! He's gotta go! Woo! Down he goes. Can you get your sights back on me? Come on, man! You're in my crosshairs again! There's no one left to kill, so get over to that gas tank and plant the bomb! I can't! There's someone coming out of that building. I can hear him at that far door. Shit! He's coming out the far door! Shoot! The guy had a buddy in the building! He's come out! Good kill, Trevor! Sneak up on me, okay? And whatever you do, don't hit the tank! Please, man! I think someone's coming! Shit! A bolt from the blue! Can you hear that? Chopper! Incoming! Always hated that chopper! Just fucking drive! <laughs>
saw a man void his bowels. Happens to the best of us. Now start that plane. Which one of you trashed my model? again. Yes! Is this 
one free you, permit job prick! Suppose there's room for a passenger? Pull up, pull up! We gotta get off this runway! The guy who's taking receipt of these guns is in a boat just off the coast. Hey, there's a biker on your wing, Trevor! I am aware of this! Well, you gotta get him off! Do a roll or something! While the man on my wing presents no immediate danger, I'll do my best to oblige you. He's still there! Shit, Trevor! You can't get him off! Oh, there he goes! Finally, I feel safe. So, uh, who might this buyer be? There's only two places this kind of hardware is gonna go. And they are? Up north to our Canadian cousins, where the lost were likely to be sending them. Or? Or our other neighbors, those in the south, our Mexican brethren. I'd assume you got all kinds of connections in Canada. Why would you make an assumption like that? It's obvious. Why is it obvious? Spell it out for me before I order you to fly that plane into a mountain. Um, uh, because of where you used to operate. Weren't you pulling scores in North Yankton and running cargo over the border? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, sure I was. There's a flare in the water. I'm guessing it's them. It better be. Drop your load. my contact to meet us just off the coast. Hey, there's a biker on your wing, Trevor. I am aware of this. Well, you gotta get him off. Do a roll or something. Well, the man on my wing presents no immediate danger. I'll do my best to oblige you. So, uh, who might this buyer be? There's only two places this kind of hardware is gonna go. And they are? Up north to our Canadian cousins, where the lost were likely to be sending them. Or? Or? Neighbors, those in the south, are Mexican brethren. I'd assume you got all kinds of connections in Canada. Why would you make an assumption like that? It's obvious. Why is it obvious? Spell it out for me before I order you to fly that plane into a mountain. Um, uh, uh, because of where you used to operate. Weren't you pulling scores in North Yankton and running cargo over the border? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah sure I was. I see a signal. You think that's your guy? That's him. Let's do it. Military base coming up. Fly low. We don't want to show on their radar. Guns is in a boat just off the coast. Hey, there's a biker on your wing, Trevor. I am aware of this. Well, you gotta get him off. Do a roll or something. Oh, there he goes. Finally, I feel.
feel safe. So, uh, who might the spire be? There's only two places this kind of hardware is gonna go. And they are? Up north to our Canadian cousins, where the lost were likely to be sending them. Or? Or their other neighbors, those in the south, our Mexican brethren. I assume you got all kinds of connections in Canada. Why would you make an assumption like that? It's obvious. Why is it obvious? Spell it out for me before I order you to fly that plane into a mountain. Um, uh, but because of where you used to operate, weren't you pulling scores in North Yankton and running cargo over the border? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, sure I was. Someone's out there and wants us to know it. You think it's the buyer? Affirmative. Make the drop. Fort San Kudo coming up. If we fly low, we ain't gonna show up on military radar. delivered, Ron. Now remember, if you beat me to the airstrip, I'll butcher your carcass and wrap you in cheesecloth. You wouldn't really do that to me, would you? Beat me and you'll see. Uh, I ain't a trained Air Force pilot like you. I can just about get where I'm going, but I don't got much choice over whether it's fast or slow. Then get better at it, or fly through a barn. Well, would a barn slow me down? Yeah, it might do. Or it might kill you instead. I'm just gonna fly normal, and I'll rely on you getting there quicker. You're braver than I thought. Stay low over those wetlands, boss. So the guns are going to Mexico? Mexico, yeah. Guy in the boat is Oscar Guzman. He's in with the cartels. If there's a market, this could be a way to expand the business. Like I hadn't thought of that? We might be able to buy into Oscar's thing, but leave that to me, Ron. I'm sorry to ask this, but does your contact pay well for this kind of shipment? Because I've got those lawyer fees for the divorce and my settlement costs. Oh, he pays. Better than any in this sorry country. That's good to hear, man. We'll talk about the exact split when we're grounded, okay? All right, T. I think that was adequate restitution for my impotent rage statue. That was a mighty fine statue, Trev. That was a mighty fine piece of plastic shit. But there is no price for emotional attachment. I mean, you might forego your cut to uh, alleviate my heartache. I might? Yeah, I mean, I will. Good idea. We don't have time to dwell on that now. Because we got more runs, Ron. If there is one thing that they need south of that big fence, it is guns. <laughs> Trevor Phillips Industries. Technical expertise, hmm? managerial innovations, unstoppable. Oh, that's right. Now go. I need to meditate. Or masturbate. Or both.
next. Hey, bud. What you do? Nothing. What you up to, Cletus? Uh, hunting. Hunting? Hunting what? Retirees? Nah, just stuff. Windows, antenna, tires, vermin. Ah, so that was you. Tis the season for it. I don't give a shit about no season. <laughs> oh, good, huh? Don't let the regulations get you down. That's what I'm saying. Hey, hey, hey. You want to come hunting with me? It'd be real neighborly of you. Hell, why not? All right, then. Up here with you. I got just a thing. Let's raise some hell, neighbor. Oh, I'm in. I'll introduce you to one of my all-time favorite pastimes. <laughs> You're gonna love this. Okay, you see them three big satellite dishes? A decent shot, and they'll go down easier than a whore's drawers. You're a real pillar of the community. Half the folks in this town would sell their own mother, and most of the other half already did. Screw them. TV for you, Mrs. Gilbert. Okay, one more for the road. Yeah, that's it. Give him hell. Shoot another one. Boom! <laughs> Didn't I tell you this would be more fun than a barrel full of pussies? Ooh, you're a classy date, Cletus. No denying that. <laughs> now drive us up to that abandoned motel. I got an even better idea. Something less stationary. Ooh, liberals? Nothing as slippery as that. You'll see. Yep, that crazy bitch went plumb insane. Be lucky if we make it there today on foot. Ain't she a beauty? Drives like a dream. You've got way too much time on your hands. Nah, this is just a bit of foolery. I've been busier than hell with the real hunting. The money and wild organic meat these days, you wouldn't believe. Them hipsters will give you their parents' last dime for it. It's gotten so I can't even keep up with the demand no more. All this eat local, small batch, farm to table bullshit. You know, I could maybe use another pair of hands if I can get you up to snuff with that rifle. If you keep on criticizing my shooting, you'll be starring in a snuff with that rifle. Here we are. I bet you never shut out the tires on a car before? Oh, you'd be surprised. Well, let's see what you got then. Ain't you gonna shoot anything, Cletus? Nah, I do this all the time, and I want to see how you deal with a moving target. Hey! This is perfect right here. Pick a car and shoot a tire. Good, plain, old-fashioned fun. Fire, Trevor, you ain't rushing this, are you? What? Give me strength. Come on, gotta show them sometimes you ain't a slave to the system. Nice. Go on, one more, just for the hell of it. Suck my pecker! I never knew you were such an agitator, Cletus. All these damn tourists coming out here to gop at rednecks. Give them what they want, I say. That's it, beauty. And again, Trevor.
Dumbass. Looks like maybe you could use some more practice. Right, let's change it up. Come on, follow me. Just two fellers killing time in small town America. Don't get much better than this, does it? The two most popular guys in town. Am I glad I ran into you? Ain't nowhere near this fun being antisocial on your own. Whatever cranks your tractor, I say. What's up next on the hillbilly anarchist agenda? Ever shot anything with a face? Actually, let me ask it again. Ever shot anything with a face on four legs? Now, Cletus, it's important you realize I'm a man plagued by vicious rumors. Fine. Let's head for the roof. I seen some coyotes hanging around down by the road. Reckon it would be real neighborly of us to get rid of a couple. And we are nothing if not neighborly. We'll get a better shot from up here. Looks like we got two packs of coyotes down there. Take a few of them out and the rest should scatter. Don't let him get the jump on you, Trevor. Ha! Sing to me now, song dog! And another! Damn varmint's always getting at the trash and chicken. Worst thing about the Alamo Sea, coyotes. I don't know. I can think of a couple more things. Dropped it like a bad habit. I think you got one more in you, Trevor. What? That should do it. Nicely done. I reckon you should tag along next time I go hunting out at Polito Bay. I'll show you how to bag an elk. Ah, why not? All right, gotta go. I'll send you a text when I'm about. 